Do you guys want to know how to get a jump throw bind in CS2? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. All right, so first is what you want to do. You want to go to where your CSGO or CS2 is located. You're going to click on game, CSGO, and to get to where your CS2 is located is all you got to do. Right click on the CS2, properties, go to install files and click browse. It'll bring up this window. Then click game, CSGO, CFG, and then there's going to be an autoexec.cfg. If there's not, just right click, create new text document, and then highlight all of it, including the dot text, and make it say autoexec.cfg. And if you don't see dot txt, all you got to do, come up to view, show, file name extensions, and hidden items. Then I'll show the last bit they need. Just make that and then right click open with notepad. And then I'll have all this copy and pasted down below in the description for you guys to just copy and paste into here. And then to change the bind for the jump throw, all you want to do, you're going to see bind C and then this, just change the letter C to whatever you want it to be. And then file save. And then close out of that and you have made your jump throw bind and auto exec in CS2. But you might be asking yourself, Keo, aren't there more things that I should know how to make and do in CS2? Yes, there are. I'll be posting more videos on those coming soon. Thank you for watching. Also, I forgot one part that you need to do in order to make sure this auto exec works. You want to right click CS2, properties, scroll down to launch options. You're going to do plus exec space auto exec dot CFG. That'll make sure that it launches correctly and you don't have to type exec, auto exec, whatever, every time you load up. That's it.